Do you have one marketing person on your team that does everything and it's just like pro level, it's awesome, you wouldn't change a thing? Or do you find yourself augmenting that? When I think back to my days in college, and I think about going to class with my friends and my classmates, sitting down there was an adult in front of the classroom that was more knowledgeable than me, uh, that had a lot more experience, that was paid to be there and impart their wisdom upon me. That person was a professor, right? Uh, or a teacher, or whatever you want to call them. I didn't know the difference between a professor that was a quote unquote tenured professor, which means that they've been there for a while, they've paid their dues, and they're sort of locked that job in as long as they want it. So I didn't know if they were a tenured full-time professor or if they were what is called an adjunct professor. An adjunct professor is one that comes in to teach maybe one or two classes, right? So they're sort of a part-time college teacher. Um, I got to spend some time doing that here in Indianapolis for several years. I enjoyed it um, immensely. As a student, I didn't really necessarily know which was which. Uh, maybe they were even a teacher's assistant, I'm not sure. But I went to class, I got my grades, I learned what I needed to learn, I moved on, I went out into the world, right? As I became an adjunct professor myself, and I would start going to these college campuses, I started observing differences, right? You're going to. <laughs> I observed that some of the people that I was teaching with uh, were super knowledgeable, but they'd also been living in academia for the last 20 years, and maybe weren't quite as in tune or in touch with uh, modern trends, current trends, the way things worked in their given industry or field uh, in a, from a day-to-day -day perspective. I noticed that the other adjuncts and myself were usually um, teaching at night or maybe even in the morning, but also had other jobs or other businesses that had them out in the workforce uh, in that industry, you know, hustling and working 40 hours a week and paying attention and having to adapt and having to learn and having to pivot quickly. Um, and we were able to bring that back to the classroom to share with the students as well. So I found that there was a real advantage to a lot, not all, but a lot of the adjunct professor relationships because I was able to come into class and share what did, what did I do all day? Oh, I was out standing in a field shooting video uh, for this company and that company. Um, here's the camera we used, here's the gear we used, here's how long it took, here's how much I charged, here's all these things. And I could bring in different projects with me, share different client stories, different work experiences, uh, different project uh, missions and goals with them. Whereas not every other professor could do that if they were teaching out of a book, uh, something that hasn't changed in years, um, you know, or whatever. They were teaching what they knew and they knew what came out of that book and they knew what was happening in the industry the last time that they were working in it full time. Totally fair. Two different sets of skills, two different sets of experiences, but these things kind of come together. Um, and that's why I think there's a lot of value in that. So, all of that to say that I really wanted to adopt an adjunct mentality when I launched Ash. If you think about the concept of businesses of a certain size, businesses of a certain size realize they need marketing, the owner doesn't want to do it anymore, he doesn't want to or she doesn't want to do the website, the social media, the graphics, the photography, all of that. They don't want to do it. Um, and probably they're more talented in other areas, so it makes sense to hire some sort of marketing assistant. Now, you can hire that person. You can hire the person coming out of school that has a marketing degree, a communications degree a lot of times. That's very helpful because they get a really well-rounded experience with marketing concepts, with the tools and the technology of the trade. So you can bring somebody on for, say, at a Midwestern uh, price point, maybe $32,000, $35,000 a year, uh, which is arguable. Feel free to argue with me about that. But you could bring them on, uh, maybe fresh out of school, uh, they know how to manage a website, they know how to use social media, they know how to use their phone to, to capture content, they probably even know how to use like a next tier level camera, maybe some podcasting audio equipment, but they have limited experience. They have had four years of assignments uh, from their professors at their school and so they, they know how to explore quite a few different things and you're paying them a, you know, entry level salary to get a, an ex aggressively okay employee, right? And they're gonna learn on the job and so forth. 
and you're going to have to spend, you know, time just kind of making sure that they understand your your philosophy, your culture. Uh, you're going to have to go out and buy some gear for them, probably because you know, graduating from college, all your free resources are gone. You don't have that studio at the at the college anymore. Their cameras, their audio equipment, their lighting, um, you know, their high speed computers. So you're going to need to pad that a little bit. Maybe build that into the budget, and then you know, hopefully they have at least one core component that they're really strong at. Maybe Maybe that's web, maybe it's social media, maybe it's photography, videography, some sort of content production that they're really strong at. And so you're also going to need to go, okay, well, I'm bringing them on for 32 to 35, whatever. But I'm also going to need to budget maybe another 10 or 15 because we want to do some really high-end stuff. We want to do some really nice videos. We want our website to have a customized widget or some really neat e-commerce components that they're probably not going to get. So all of a sudden, your thirty-three dollars to $35,000 a year new hire is now a $55,000 you know, a year hire, at least for the first year because you have to buy all that gear. And there's a learning curve. They still need to learn. They're still young. They're still inexperienced. So, you know, that's part of the play. But what we really tried to do and what other marketing firms try to do as well, so this is not Ash um, exclusive, uh, but... I was very intentional about trying to make our team an adjunct marketing department. So Ash is your adjunct marketing department, meaning that our team all has different areas of expertise and you need them all, <laughs> really, believe it or not. You need good web help, you need good design help and branding help, you need good photos, videos, audio, lighting, you need all these things to come together. You need somebody who can help package them, help put a strategy together, help analyze the analytics, the data, uh, the reaction from the consumer. You need all of that. And so we're trying to be an adjunct marketing department, meaning that we're a part-time marketing department. Instead of spending, say, thirty-five dollars to $50,000 a year on 40 hours a week for a person who's kind of constantly learning, probably has some downtime here and there, um, but you know they're there all the time. We're coming in strategically at specified hours each week or each month to kind of be that entire department. So instead of having one person that's good or moderate at a, a, a everything, we come in and strategically are good at all the different areas. And so we're much more efficient. Uh, we bring all of our own gear. We bring all of our own uh, experiences from, again, around the Midwest and even international experiences to the table that we can all take and we can form and evaluate and apply them to your business and your mission and really augment your team at a fraction of the cost with higher gear, higher experiences, and a much better look overall at putting together a marketing strategy for growing your business. Let me know if you disagree. <laughs> Post it in the comments. Do you have one marketing person on your team that does everything and it's just like pro level, it's awesome, you wouldn't change a thing? Or do you find yourself augmenting that with outside marketing firms or an outside designer from time to time, outside other services? Or do you agree? Are you like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I wish, you know, I had five people that came in, say, 10 hours a week uh, versus having one person at 40. Um, you know, let's have a conversation in the comments.